So uh, let me just uh, introduce all of these. We've got the X Bourbon Oak. There is uh, Brandy, uh, Brandy Oak, and then we go on to the Sherry Oak, and then, then we have the Wine Oak, and um, uh, this is apparently the Vino Barrique, and uh, after, after that, then we have the Fino Sherry, Fino Sherry uh, Cask. Fino Sherry Oak is next, followed by the Peated Cask. Peated Oak, pardon me. All right, so that's the setup. And look at this amazing gift set that they have there. They've got some really nice gifts, uh, a selection of, um, I think they have some that are smaller than, the, than these in a kind of a tube. These are 50 milliliters, so maybe 25 milliliter sizes. Um, they do their utmost to make sure that um, uh, people with any budget, that uh, whatever budget you've got, you can take home uh, some Kavalin single malt uh, from Taiwan or from other major centers in Asia and probably also, I think, in uh, places like England. Um, Canada, nothing like this just, so, just yet. Uh, somehow this doesn't compute in the Canadian, um, the uh, socialist, uh, I've I got to say, it, it's a socialist system there for, uh, for whiskey. It's, uh, what, what, they re what they would really like, I think, is for there to be um, uh, one bottle of whiskey, um, one bottle of red wine, one bottle of white, one beer, uh, and, uh, and then just a desk and you walk up and you just tell them, okay, I'll have one bottle of whiskey, please. And, uh, and then they give it to you. I think that's what they would like. Uh, it, seems, it seems that way. This just does not really fit into the, um, uh, the system in Canada. Uh, it does in Japan, thankfully. I'm glad I went there. So we can get started with this. Now, uh, I've also got, as you know, I've got a nice uh, Kavalin uh, Glen Cairn glass as well. This came in a, a set with uh, the sherry, uh, sherry cask Solist. So uh, that's pretty awesome. So I'll get to use that today. And I want to show you what this set looks like. So I'm going to uh, put this back in here and, uh, and then set it back up again. And of course, I'll time lapse it or something so that uh, you're not sitting there bored for, uh, for 10 minutes. All right. So we're going to time lapse it starting now. Hmm. Should have taken note. Uh, should have taken note about what which was which. All right. There. All right. So we start like this. It's uh, this nice um, six-sided cube. A hexagon <laughs> and uh, very nicely presented it lists everything back here this is all in uh, Japanese so no point in showing that to you um, 50 milliliters times six and you open it up okay open it up now comes the hard part how do you get these out it's pretty hard to lift out of there uh, so what what I decided to do is uh, I'm gonna flip it so I'll just do that now. There we go. Okay, set that there. Okay. All right, so here we go. Find the front. Let's try that again. So, beautiful, isn't it? And it's, uh, it's got a, a magnetic closure. So that's cool. And have a look at this now. Ready for this? Wow, look at that. Amazing. Really excited about this. This is awesome. All right. So I'm going to get that set back up again. <laughs> now, I put this in the order that I want to taste them in. And that is going to be X Bourbon first. So X Bourbon. 
over here and then the brandy and after that comes the sherry oak label forward and next up is the wine oak the vino vino barrique like so And then the Fino, Fino Sherry is next. And then the last review is going to be the Peated Oak. Peaty Oak, pardon me, Peaty Oak. And here comes my wife. Rocky, quiet down. So that's the box. Now let's get into the whiskey, shall we? Cavalon X Bourbon Oak. Uh, 